Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Thursday the 12th. And at least I get an 8 that I can place in the bottom corners of region 3, which has no given digits in it. A 4 gets placed immediately. In row 5, region 6. Let's see, what else can I do? I can also do an 8 from the middle rows. That's all I get, yep. But if you have two ones that place a one in the bottom rows, and I'll get a seven placed in one of three spots in the same region. Uh, by columns, on the leftmost three, I have no repeats. In the middle three, I can place a one and a seven, both in region two. I need two, five, and nine. The remainder of column five. Okay, and on the right, I just get the four which I placed immediately as a follow on from the four that I did place as a given digit. Okay. So what else can I do that's obvious? Um, these two cannot be six, therefore those two must be, which I didn't see. One takes these out, four and nine take these out, but that still leaves three other spots in region one for the remainder of those digits. And they don't overlap. doesn't really help the whole lot. I need two, three, six, and nine. For region five. That cell at the bottom right sees three, six, and nine. It must be two. This one isn't six and therefore must be one of the other two. Actually, this one sees three, six, and nine. That one sees three and nine. Therefore, must be six. And this one is now three or nine. Oh, these offset pairs, lovely. But row six has two, three, four, six, nine. I need one, five, seven, eight. This sees one, seven, and eight, it must be five. Two, three, five, eight. I need one, four, six, seven, nine. These are two thirds of one, six, seven. They can't be anything else. These are four, seven, or nine. So those can't be one or six. That one. I guess anything, yep. Okay, one, three, six, seven on the bottom region, eight. I need two, four, five, eight, nine. These can't be two. 
Oh shoot, could not be five. Okay, well, these can't be eight, so eight is there. I also didn't see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one, two, three, and nine. A row five, that can't be two or nine. Okay, three, four, five, eight, and region six. Leaves me with one, two, six, seven, nine. And these are not one, any of them actually. Okay, these are in one, two, three, four, eight, nine. None of them can be eight. Okay, these can't be one, two, six, or eight, so it could be four or an odd digit, which helps me absolutely nowhere. One, four, five, seven, and column seven leaves two, three, six, eight, nine. That can't be six or nine. Okay. Oh, well, that's no good. Oh, well, so these two fives force a five in one of those two, but that can't be five, so I actually just placed a five. Column two, and therefore one of those three must be five. Okay, this is from two, three, six, seven, nine, but it sees a two. And six and nine in the box. Well, that places the two in region four because the rest of that L shape is a derived quadruple. Two and six. Take two of those three spots in row four, region six. Hmm. Let's see, region nine has one, four, seven, nine. Those two cells can't be eight. So they are from two, three, five, and six. Because it sees the other five. Which doesn't tell me much, but these can't be one, three, four, seven, nine. Let's see, these are not two, four, eight, nine. They are from one, three, five, six, seven. Column three, region seven. These aren't one, three, five, six. These are one, two, five. Oh, well, actually, I just discovered there's another derived quadruple in row nine. Two, three, five, and eight occupy four spots out of four. 
because the digits 4 and 9 only have two places they can show up in row 9. So that turns into a derived pair, which means that's not 4. These cannot be 9. Here or here. It's too many options. Or and then I have to look at the row. These are not anything up to seven. Okay, and after all that, uh, well, I just discovered something. There's a four, seven, nine triple in column two. That places an eight. This now can't be eight or seven. That's a two. Row six is down to one seven. This is one three seven. And that's not three, that's not seven. Six eight. No, now this can't be one six or seven. So that's four nine, which forms another derived triple, and that places the six in row one column. Three and is going to do a lot of good. Quite a few things that derive from that actually. Nine, those aren't nine. Okay. Now, the nine that I eventually placed in row two is going to take out the four. That solves the remaining triple in region one. This is three. That's forced to be a seven. It's the only place for it. This takes out nine, five, four in column six, which takes out six. Column four is done. That will just about finish off region seven. Why not? This is two, which forces that to be a one. Now I can do the rest of region two, and now I have enough to do the rest of the puzzle. I'm at the point where I'm just filling in digits. Yeah, let me know how you did in the comments, and hopefully some of you beat me. By time, that is. Well, 14, that's not too shabby.